Okay, so here we are in section 2.3, and section 2.3 is all about uh, using the print function to display output. So we're going to actually get to use some code, so that's uh, that's pretty fun. So we'll get, do that in a second. Uh, but very quickly before we move on, I want to show you, when you see these little uh, video links in here, and you'll see this little, little graphic, and if I click on this and just roll over, you'll see a link right there. Uh, if you click on that, uh, what that does is we'll take you to a page where our author, our textbook author, Tony Gaddis, has... A video that will describe this particular section um, kind of in his words and the videos are typically like you know between three and maybe six seven minutes long and and they're very good so just to give you a different viewpoint and uh, I guess you know have you listened to someone else I, I include these and I highly recommend them uh, as we go through the chapters so they show up in your book you'll see the little video links on the sides but I put the active link here the other place you can see them is right in canvas at the bottom of each module I put all of the video links even if it's something that we maybe didn't do like if it's a walkthrough on a particular problem I'll still put the links in there if he has an active video for it so that you can uh, check those out all right so anyway so that's what that's what that is and then I just I try and put them in the powerpoints in the sections where they go all right so let's take a look at the print function and your first question might be well what is a function so a function a uh, really short <laughs> definition of a function a uh, piece of pre-written code that performs an operation okay and right now we're going to use pre-written uh, functions and and uh, when we get to chapter five you'll actually write your own functions and it's kind of fun to do and you'll end up using those uh, through the rest of the uh, uh, of the term so anyway it's pretty fun uh and so one of the built-in ones that we're going to use that's built right into python for us pre-written is the print function and that just lets us uh display output on the screen so that's what when we execute something it's what shows the user like if we print out little statements or whatever we might do so just a couple of uh, things that, that go along with that is you'll see uh in the book they'll refer to an argument so the argument is the data that's given to the function. So a couple different ways of looking at this. And this particular one here is a print function. We're just using the keyword print. And then in parentheses, so here we go with our, with our function. This is what we have. It is just x. All right. So what we're saying is the data that's given to this function is the value that's stored for x. Okay, so that that's a that's a simple argument that's being that's being uh, you know sent into this function and that will be printed. All right, so or it could just be a message or printing to the screen, which we're going to uh, do next, actually on the next slide. All right, so and just as a, a quick reminder, we use sequential programming, so I know you've seen this before, but uh, you know the, the statements are are going to execute in the order that they appear from the top to the bottom, and that's going to remain true uh, until we actually start really doing our own uh, functions and bouncing things around and using files and all that kind of good stuff. We get a little bit off if we're using, uh, you know, decision structures and, and some things in chapters three and four. But uh, for the most part, we're just, we start at line one and we're just working our way down. Okay, so let's go ahead and play with the print function. Okay, so one more little slide and then we're going to actually do some code here. Um, so you're going to see the term string. Okay, and so string sequence of characters that is used as data uh, so it could be like a sentence anything like that so string literal uh, is the actual string that appears in the code of the program so we've got a string down here and most of the time you will not see string literal everyone just refers to to this as string okay so uh, sort of I don't know, synonymous, I guess. We're just leaving this out uh, when they're referring to strings. So you see that along the way. Now, you'll notice on this, before I even look at these real quickly, um, let's take a look at this. So print, here we go with our parentheses again. Don't forget, open and close. That'll give you problems if you don't close it up. Uh, and then we've got quotes, double quotes, and then just howdy with an exclamation point, and then we're closing the quotes out again. Okay, so this is a simple um, print function. Uh, we've got this just really easy statement here uh, saying, hey, I want you are telling the computer, I want you to print howdy on the screen with an exclamation point there. OK, so that's what that is. Now, you'll notice I'll backtrack a little bit here. So it must be enclosed in either single or double quotes. All right. So that's something that, that you have to do. It has to be one or the other. I can't open with a double and close with a single. We'll do that in a second. Uh, and then you can also use triple quotes to put things in. So um, I think this will make more sense once we play with it. So let's go ahead and do that. And why don't you do this with me? So go ahead and go to uh, pythontutor.com. I'm already here in the window, but if you go to, uh, well, I guess let me just back out and go to, I'll just type it in. So pythontutor.com. So here we go at the web page. So it's just simply pythontutor.com. 
and I'm going to click on Python Tutor right here, and it's going to pop us into this window. Okay, so we're using Python 3.6. It will default to that. That is fine. Uh, we don't want to mess with any of these other ones. All right. So for now, let's go ahead and type out exactly what you just saw on the screen. So I'm going to say print, open a parenthesis, put a double quote there, and I'm going to say howdy. Oops, learned how to type, Joe. Uh, and then close that out. All right. So this is this. If I go down, uh, this is the statement you just saw. So print, here's the print function. It's saying, hey, inside this, inside these uh, parentheses, we've got an argument sent in here. So, and we're saying, hey, we want to be howdy. Oh, I forgot an exclamation point. Oops, this is my bad. Um, so anyway, so there we go. So we've got howdy in there and there we go. So how does this work in Python Tutor? Very simply, we're just gonna click on visualize execution. I'll click that, you wait a second. And it's gonna pop in here now. The red, you can see on the thing here, the red arrow is the next line to execute. Now, for us, we only have one line, so it's not really that big a deal. Uh, here is our output window. So essentially, this is the monitor. Okay, so this is what you know the user is going to see, and down here, things will be stored eventually that you'll see uh, that the computer is. Uh, keeping track of behind the scenes, and we'll, we'll take a look at more of that as we roll along here. Uh, but for this one, we're just playing with it, and we're, we're going to see this little output. So if I hit next, it's only going to go one step, but if I hit next, boom, it executes that particular uh, line, that particular statement, and boom, here, how do you print on the screen? Okay, so I can go back to previous and go from there. Now, how do you go back to where you can edit? You can see right below your code edit this code and it will bring you back to your code that you can mess with here. Now, a couple of different things. Let's play with this a little bit. Now, I put, um, I hit enter a couple times. That's why I'm down on line three. And so if I want to type this again, I'm going to say print and I'm going to put this in here. And this time I'm going to say hi. I don't know, just because. And end my uh, my function here with this parenthesis. So I close that all in. Now you notice this is the same basic looking thing, right? Just my string literal inside changed. So I only have this piece uh, that would change. Now, if I was going to show you a single quote, this is how you can do it here. So you can do a single quote, or I guess an apostrophe, depending on how, the, how you look at it. And I can type this in and I can hit that little button there. And I will now have um, hi written in. And I'm going to hit visualize. And you'll see now I have two lines to execute. So I'm going to hit next. It's going to do the first line. Boom, there's howdy. It's going to come down here and print. And here we've got hi again. I'm going to hit next there. And we've got hi again. So it went down to the next line. Part of our built-in print function that's written in is that when this line is finished, it will do a carriage return or enter down, and which is what this did here, and wait for the next um, set of commands, really, is what it's doing. It's waiting for the next thing. So for this one, our next thing was to say hi. All right, now, notice, I used the double quote here. I'm going to go back to edit this code so it colored it. Uh, so I have double quotes here, double quotes here, but single quote, single quote. Totally fine, right? The only thing you have to be careful of is you can't do one of these things where you do, like I said a second ago, what would I say this time? Hello, I guess, I don't know. Okay, you don't want to do this. Okay, so I open with a double, close with a single, everything looks... You know, like it's going to be great, except for when I hit it. Uh, my visualize button, boom, we get to this, and we get a syntax error So with our string literal, literal. So here we go. We have a problem. It doesn't know what to do. Um, it's looking, when I open with a double, it's looking for another double to close this out. So until I put that there, I'm going to get that error. So if I hit visualize again, and we go to the next screen, and we'd be able to walk through here. Oh, Python Tutor will bring this up. And you could just hit close. You don't need to participate if you want to like to. So I'm just going to close for now. And I just execute each one of these. Boom, next. Uh, and we've got all three of those listed there. Okay. So I'm going to let me say this about um, double, single, all that kind of good stuff. You can do either. And our author mixes it up a little bit. Sometimes in the textbook, he'll use singles, sometimes he uses doubles. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this about Python because I know uh, for many of you, this is your first language, this is your first coding class. Uh, when you are coding in most languages, strings are used with double quotes, okay? If it's a single quote, that's typically reserved for using a specific character. So something like, you know, hit A to select this, hit B to select that, you know, those kinds of things. Um, or you know, T for true or, you know, F for false, all that kind of good stuff. So the reserve for a single character. Uh, and um, I would say just for your own sanity, 
uh, use double quotes for now. So use double quotes for any time you're using strings. So I'm going to take this out of here, and then I'm going to throw a little monkey wrench in here. But uh, but anyway, you see that there? And uh, so I would say stay with double quotes just because uh, if you get another language and you try to do a single quote and do a string, not going to work for you. So, um, so anyway, so I just... Even though you'll see a lot of single quotes in the textbook, I don't mind if you use single quotes, but um, just be prepared that in the future you're going to use double for everything. All right, so let's say that I'm in here and I have, I'm just going to dump these, okay, and I want to do something in here. Let's say I'm using double quotes, right, and I wanted to say, let's see, how about read Hamlet tonight simple right piece of cake good clue to you that something is not right is that the color changes in here right so in our id in python tutor so uh what's going to happen with this if i hit visualize execution you'll see oh look at this invalid syntax notice it gives you the line number most of the times it's pretty accurate um, and it's saying hey there's a problem here so obviously it's not going to work now the problem is is that i'm using double quotes to open this particular sentence but then when i go to quote hamlet and I use a double quote here, it thinks that's the end of the string. So here is, basically my string is in here, right? Uh, and so if I, here's my, here's my string a little. So anyway, we have Hamlet. Now this is just randomly, you know, sitting here and the computer doesn't know what to do with it, okay? It, it then sees this quote here tied in with this quote. So it sees another string in there, okay? So the way to fix that, here's, here's an easy way you can do this. We could go ahead and use single quote. Okay, this is one way. We're going to look at lots of ways of doing this, but that's one way. So now when I go to execute this, it will print just fine. Okay, I open with a single, so it's looking for a single to close it, so I can use double in between. But <laughs> what if we did this? Um, I don't know. Let's say just assignment is to read Hamlet tonight. Okay. So now I have this all fouled up. Notice now we have all these other things in here. Um, we, we want this to be our entire string literal, right? So this is what we want. Uh, but the single quote goes to this single quote, messes it up. Look, you can see all the black. We got this little reserve. We got, we got all sorts of issues in here. Okay, so an easy way to solve this for now is to start with either a triple quote. And then we can do whatever we'd like in here. And then we come back here to the end. And I can triple quote that. So now I'm using an apostrophe in here. I'm using double quotes. But I'm using triple quotes here, triple quotes here. So we'll actually execute. And boom, there we get our nice little sentence that we have there. Okay. So you can either use um, triple double quotes or triple single quotes. Just make sure you're consistent the way that you're doing these so that we can them that way okay so that will uh that gives you a little bit of stuff to, to play with now we will use um just to show you that that will work uh we will use some other things later on to make this work better so that we don't have to use the triple quotes but for now if you would like you can use this if we have some type of sentence like this uh that uses an apostrophe and double quotes in there then triple quotes are the easy way to go for what we're doing right now okay so that's it for that one. Hopefully you've had fun kind of playing around with the strings and, and getting these to work and functions and uh, the little built-in print function and getting them to play in Python Tutor. It's good stuff.